Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. Uh, it should just be recorded. I said to my husband, you should speak first, not me. But he didn't want to listen. And it's hard to fight with him. If you lose anyway. I'm just a little word of advice to some of the guys here. Uh, but you can try. I, I've, I've tried enough. <laughs> I know. <laughs> anyway, OK. Hanukkah Sameach, coming up, a few minutes, eight days, eight full days, and it's really very, very unique, uh, a special mitzvah, of course, we know, and the mitzvah is a little bit harder, you have to buy the oil, you have to get the candles, but really in the Gemara, what's focused on a lot also is the Hallel and the Hoda'ah. Right after the big miracle happened and the Papa Shemen, there was only one with the Hotama before the Gadol, uh, and it, it should have lasted one day, right? We all know the story, it lasted eight days. The Shana Acheret Kivaum Veasaum Yamim Tovim Vehalel Vahoda'a. The next year, like a year should pass, a little perspective, and Chachamim, the Chazal, set these days for days, Yom Tov. I mean, even though we could do malach and everything, but we're, it's a holiday, right? It's Chag Chanukah, it's a holiday. The Halel uva Hoda'ah. And it's the two terms, Halel and Hoda'ah. Could have just said Amirat Halel, Tfilat Halel, but Halel the Hoda'ah. Uh, and the Svat Med speaks a lot about that, about the, the difference between, he makes like the diuk, the difference between Halel and Hoda'ah. Okay, so I just want to focus on that a little bit today. Um, Hallel, right, praises, praises to Hashem. Uh, Hoda'ah is the thanks. Now, we know Hoda'ah is, there's also another word. The word of acknowledge. The Hodot B'davar. Um, when you have a Hoda'ah, it's like an admission. You admit to something, you acknowledge. It's the same root. It's the same root, the, the thanking and the acknowledging and admitting to something. And it's, it's you know, Hebrew is very uh, beautiful language in that way. It's probably, right, it's not for chance, not by chance. Because you could really only thank when you acknowledge, when you know what it is, when you understand, when you admit that you're nothing, then you can thank Hashem for everything that he gives us. Right? So that's, those are two, the two different, uh, the two different mitzvot, in a sense, the two different activities that we're going to be involved in uh, when we say halal and in general, yamim tovim, behalel uvahoda'ah. That's what we're supposed to do. And in a sense, it's even harder because you light the candle, you light the candle, all right, you have all the halachas, you know, and everything, you have to be careful. But, but to feel a real happiness, <coughs> right, to feel a real happiness. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about that, what each word, right, this Fatimet, another idea, what each word, what the Halal, and what the Hoda'ah, what the feelings uh, that we should be having. So in general, he speaks, he says many different things, this Fatimet, but like, a, 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 I, I would say a middle line of this Fatimet. Halal is the Simcha, and Hoda'ah is the Hachna'a, the subjugation, the, the humility, now, doesn't, you know, halal, happiness, praising, thanking, the hachna'ah, right? The hachna'ah, the subjugation, the, the, the lowering of ourselves, right? What does that have to do with anything? But this is what this Vakta Med is telling us, that in our halal, we have to have two components, in our praising, in our thanking, in our, uh, in our sublime joy. There also has to be a hoda'ah, there also has to be an acknowledging of who we are, and in a sense how little we are, and, and that everything is, is coming from Hashem. Now, in this uh, halal, if we take the halal, he also says, when do we have the full joy? When's hokpina? When, when is our mouths filled of joy? When, when do we have this great joy? Why do we have this great joy now in the Hanukkah? Why is this the Halel, the Simcha? Right, we came back to the Beit HaMikdash. Right, we had, right, Purim, and it's, it's the only Chag added on to the Doraita. Right, all the other days that we say Halel, right, even Rosh Chodesh, 
it's in the Torah, there's the Karbanat Musaf. The Chachamim took eight days, eight days that you, you know, just, all right, a miracle happened, they were saved, but, you know, they made a whole big holiday for eight days, and you say, you say hello with the bracha. Right? Because, because there was such great, great simcha at that time, because we had a gula. That's what we don't say, one of the reasons we don't say Hallel on, who's paying attention? One of the reasons we don't say Hallel on Purim, right, is because we didn't come back to Eretz Israel. It ended up there in Persia. But here, we're able to come back. We're in Eretz Israel. We came back. We came back to the Beit HaMikdash, and the Svat the Med talks about it earlier, the Maral, the Ramban, everybody. We really didn't have to go to the Beit HaMikdash. We could have, the, the battles were not in this area for primarily, but they felt, all right, we've now overcome the Greeks, right? They, then it's the Greeks, it's Iran, it's this, it's, you know, the history repeats itself, right? We, we've had, we have a victory, but the victory's not over. We have to go back to our place, we have to go back to the Yushalayim, we have to go back to the Beit HaMikdash, and not just go back there, we have to do the mitzvah, right? The mitzvah of lighting the menorah. Right, the lighting the menorah, the menorah that symbol, symbolizes the right, the light, the Torah, everything, Judaism. Right, we can't, you know, we have a right. We're, we're coming back. We're coming back to Shalim, but we want to have a, a fuller sense of gula. Of course, doing it with that that it was there, right, the Kohen Gadol and everyone approving what they were doing. But there was a uh, the Svatimet would call it a chuka. There was a passion, a desire. Right, they really didn't have to. Remember, you, I'm sure you learned right to, to Mahu Trabet Sibur. They didn't have to. They didn't have the mitzvah to light the kid, right? To light the, uh, to light the menorah and Hanukkah. They had, they, they had to light the menorah in those days. Right? It wasn't even called Hanukkah, yet, right? They didn't have to do it, but they just felt, all right, we're back. How can we have a victory? Right? We don't only want a physical victory. We want a spiritual victory as well. And what will, what will the spiritual victory be if we can come back and we can really light the candles, even if we're not fully, we, we don't have to. We're all Tameim. We don't have to light the candles. We don't have to light the menorah. But they had such a, a passion, such a desire to do it that Hashem made the nest. Right? It's really also most of the miracles happened to save us. Right? We're in danger. We're dying. Right? Even this one, the Matim, right? And the Biyat Rabim, Tameim, Biyat Right? The other way. But you know, and, and Hashem saved us, so, so that would be the miracle. But here Hashem made a special miracle, why? So we should be able to do a mitzvah. Because he saw how much we wanted, at that time, how much Am Yisrael wanted to do it. How much they wanted the gula to be, to be fuller. Right? That he said, okay, I'm gonna cooperate and I'm gonna also, uh, I'm gonna also help them along. So this is the halil. Right, great jubilant rejoicing that we came back and we were able to light the the menorah, the the nests and everything. That's you know, a, we say halal. Hoda'a, we said was like the sense of, of a subjugation. Where does that fit in? What what is that all about? And the Svatimet also says when you have a candle or any fire, there are two activities: it lights and it burns. In, in the same time, you light, and there's light, and it's bright, and it's beautiful, but it burns the oil. And that in the person, right, as you're lighting, there's sometimes still inside you things that have to be kind of burnt out, things that have to be taken away in order for the light, for your lights, in order for the light to be brighter. And that's, that we can only do with the hoda'a. That we can only do if we really recognize how little we are, recognize who we are, uh, and, and you know, turn to Hashem. I was thinking also, even in the, the davening of Hallel, right? Most of the time you sing and you have these beautiful tunes and the guitar. It's lovely here, the Hallel. You'll have now a lot of days of Hallel. It's great. It's beautiful. But in the middle of the Hallel, what do you have? Ana Hashem Hoshiana. Ana Hashem Hatzlichana. In the middle of our joy and, and, and celebration, we also turn to Hashem, help us. We're not finished yet. We're getting started. Help us, Hoshiana. And even if you help us, Hatzlichana, let us be successful, let our ways work. Ana Hashem, Ani Avdecha. 
I'm your servant, I'm, I'm turning to you. It's not only uh, happiness, but along with the happiness, there has to be this, uh, uh, this uh, subjugation, this uh, lowering of, uh, of oneself. And he, he also, he, he connects, this Fatimet connects it, the Hallel is Yosef, connecting it to the Parashiyot Shavua, Hallel is Yosef, and Hoda'a is, of course, very good, right? Yehuda, even the word, right? Hoda'a, Yehuda, right? Yehuda, Yosef and Yehuda, because Yosef is the sima, is the symbol of Geula, right? He was the one sent forward, and he prepared for Gulat Mitzrayim. He wanted his bones to be taken out, but code beef code. Yosef has, we, we won't, we'll, we'll, we'll focus more on, on Yehuda. Yehuda is the Hoda'a. Yehuda is the acknowledging, admitting who he is. And in this parsha that we just read, right, by Yeshev, Perak Lamed Chet, and if you learned it in elementary school, I think we learned it and we skipped it. You know, that's the story, right, Yehuda and Tamar. Yehuda and Tamar. Uh, because of whatever, what happened there, but if we look, if we look, it starts by Yered Yehuda. He kind of went down. He had, a, he had a decline in who he was. And who did he marry, guys? Who did he marry? A nice Jewish girl? What? You forgot. What? Not in, which, which nation was she from? What? Canaan, right? Canaan, exactly what Rivka told Yitzchak, oi, Esau, look who he's marrying. He's marrying the Canaanim. Yehuda goes away. He needs to go with his friend, Adulam, and you know, and Adulami, and this, and he, and he, and he marries a, Can a Canaanite woman. What is this? What's happening? He's supposed to be the leader. He's the one who's just said, you know, why should we kill, you know, the, the brothers look up to him. Why should we kill him? Let's just uh, say, you know, sell him, right? And the whole, that was Yehuda's idea. Right? And, and here he is, he's, he's running off, he's running off, he can't take it, whatever, maybe the pressure, too much pressure, whatever. He runs off, he marries a, an Isha Kananit, and then, then they have three sons, she dies, right? And what happens? Worse even, right? What does he do? He goes and he looks for a Zona, right? Right? He goes and he, can you imagine? Can you imagine? This is the, the, the the ancestry of, of David Amela. He's going, he's going to look for Zohar. And he finds her. Right? Tamar, who's his the daughter-in-law, who's not the is, doesn't have a Gibum, right? He was someone who's supposed to marry her. She has to sit and wait for, for the younger son. And she realizes Yehuda, something's wrong. He's not he's not helping me. He's not taking his responsibility. And she takes life into her own hands. I mean, she had a lot of initiative, uh, Tamar. Right? And, and I guess Yehuda, whatever, couldn't control himself and did whatever he did, right? And then Tamar is pregnant, three months, right? Um, this is what all of you, what you didn't learn in elementary school. Um, right? he, she's pregnant, and, and he says, Oi, Vey, my daughter-in-law is pregnant. What did she do? She went, she had relations. She's just supposed to wait for the younger son. What, is she, what does he say? What has to happen to her? You have to get a killer. Now, who's the father? Yehuda, right? Kill her. And what did she do? She wasn't stupid, Tamar. She said, you know, he had to give her something, and he gave, and, and until he could send the gadi, could send the, uh, the, the the goat, he gave her what? The stamp. The stamp, and the, 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 um, the stamp is the chotam, and the ptilim, and the, and the mate, right? Right, the stamp being the ring, which you know his signature, whatever his signature ring. The ptilim, the different interpretations, but let's say it's like a, a head covering uh, with with strings on it, like some kind of scarf with strings, a head, and and the staff, maybe right. And and uh, Tamar comes and says, the person that that I'm pregnant to, right, person, right, these are his. And and Yehuda comes because Yehuda's the one, right? He's the leader. Yehuda has said what? To kill her. And he says, Hakerna, Tamar says, Hakerna lemi hachotemet vaptilim vahamate ha'ele. She says to Yehuda, right? This is Yehuda. Look, can you recognize these? 
Now, if we really think about it, the, the ring, the signature, the, the hat, the crown almost, right? The staff, what are they? That's the person's identity. That's the, uh, the symbols of leadership. And she says to him, Hakerna, recognize. Recognize yourself. Recognize at me. Recognize the person that, that could be a leader. Recognize the person that should have the ring and should use it in the right way and the staff and the, and the crown. Recognize, think who you are. Think that you have to be honest. Think that you have to be honest with yourself. Care not. Look, hold the up. Admit, acknowledge who you are. Acknowledge if you have to have, if you've made mistakes. And here, look what happened out of Yehuda. The Malchud, he rises. He's able to, to defend, right, and take the, take the leadership of the brothers and save, right, save Binyamin and, and go to Yosef and argue. He gets the strength from this hoda'ah from this admission, from this looking into himself. And he says, Vayaker, he recognized. What I'm saying here, and this is not really this Vatemet, it's a little bit my own kind of uh, going into the line of this Vatemet, that not only did he recognize the object, he recognized himself. Right? She's telling him, and it can come from anybody. You see, it came from Tamar. Right? But she was the, she gave him that wake-up call. She gave him that wake-up call, Hakar na. Look, think, recognize into yourself who you are and who you can be. And 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 he said, right, said ka, that she's right. She's she's more right than I am in, in her in, in her approach and what she did. And he took responsibility and he understood who he was. Uh, and I think I think this is the this is the, the sense of Hoda'a that I think we're all here a little bit like Yehuda, right? Some a little more, some a little less, right? And we have to think, we have to think like, you know, like, I don't know, someone's the Tamar or the Batko from Shemayim is telling you, Hakerna, Hakerna into yourself. Look, recognize, think, think who you are because that's part of the Halel. You're not gonna come to a real happiness. It's Halel the Hoda'a together. You're not gonna come to real happiness without the hoda'ah. And that's what the Svat Med is saying. Simcha and hachna'ah. They come together. Eight days of halel the hoda'ah. But it's not just, you know, crazy happiness and, you know, going on a high and I don't know what, for no reason. It's, it's a happiness that comes together with, with an acknowledgement of who we are and what our, what our purpose is in life. Uh, so I think this is that, that these days, Right, these days that the people that Am Yisrael wanted to do a mitzvah, that did that mitzvah with passion, Hashem said, you really deserve this holiday. It's a time, right, it's the, uh, the equinox, I don't know, the, the darkest days, the deepest days, and, and, and Chachamim realized this is in the days of Nisim, days when, when Am Yisrael wanted to do and, and wanted to strive high and, 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 and gave us all these... Uh, all these extra mitzvot in days of, um, of Halel and Hoda'ah. And I just want to end uh, another idea of the Sfat Amet, that what's the, I, I love this in, in Israel, uh, that everyone lights outside. You know, that you can light out, well, you might, I don't know, there's some room here for everybody, but like in our house, we're on the ground floor, we get this Hanukkiah, uh, we can put it just as it says in the Gemara, right, the Petach Beito, uh, you can put it petach bitomi bachutz. Now, why do you have to put the why do you have to put the the um, menorah outside in the in the entrance to the house outside? The the basic reason, the simpler reason, what? Okay, very good. For Surinisa. that's the you know on the the shot level. What the Sfat Hamed says is, look at the word petach. Petach is the word entrance. You enter into some place from the outside, and I think I think you know some of you are already further in a little. But even if you're in the petach, even if you're in the in the entrance way, and even if you're still kind of outside, you light the candles, and the light of the fire will bring you in. The light of the fire, right? It's petach. It's not just for the halachic reason, although that's the the technical reason. But we have to think of ourselves as into a petach. Now, we don't just want to stay at the petach. We want to go in 
and we want to we want to get involved and, and understand and not just be an outsider. So that's my I wish everybody really days of Hallel and Hoda'a, uh, Simchan Hachnaa, uh, and and be at that petach, look at the petach, and and go in, go in. You have I mean I know it's the greatest yeshiva. I'm a little prejudiced, but uh, so many opportunities, so many opportunities to really go in, uh, but. But you can't do anything, and as my husband tells you, but I'm, I'm kind of telling it to you through, through you, Dad and Tamar, you can't do anything if you don't first do Hakerna. Hakerna, and then with that Hakerna, have the Halel and Hoda'ah, have the Sufganiyot, have the Hadlakat Nerod, have a great time. Hanukkah Sameach, everybody.